In this video I will show you how to create this stick figure doing this snow angel type animation in this oily substance using Cinema 4D and Redshift. So first I'm gonna create this plane and a figure. I will rotate this figure something like uh, this minus 90 degrees uh, so it's lying down. Next I'm gonna add this collision deformer to this plane and I'm gonna go in here, colliders, select inside stretch, pull the figure in, and you can see that it's working, but I'll, I'm gonna give it 80, so it's, it's better, so you can see it better. Okay, now it's working, but it's working in the opposite direction. Uh, so how to change that, you have to change this uh, plus y axis to minus y axis, and you can see that it's now it's uh, going down, it's, going in, it's pulling it inside. Next, uh, I'm, I have to make this editable, this figure object, so for whatever reason it works better when it's editable. So next I will create these two materials. One will be for the plane and the other one will be for the figure. Next, for the plane I will choose a black color and I will turn off these lines. Turn off these lines and I will turn off this grid. Next, the cool part is when you add this jiggle deformer and if you move it below the collision deformer you have to play the animation to see this effect and now while the animation is playing you can move this uh, figure and you can see that the effect is already happening there, right? It's very nice. Now you can select these arms here and legs and I can add them uh, a vibrate tag. And what this vibrate tag will do, it if you give it, let's say, enable rotation, zero here, and give it 50, no, 60 maybe here, and frequency will be one. You can see that he starts to move them, and you can already see the effect. So if you want it to look more like water, you have to change the stiffness to lower. But if you want it to be more like something like, I don't know, a water bed, maybe, then you have to put it, uh, change it to 100, maybe. So I will set it to zero, and I will add, uh, put the plane in a subdivision surface, so the water looks more realistic. Now I will give it one, I, th I think that's enough. So if you don't want the random, uh, random animation, you can delete those tags. For the snow angel animation, I'm gonna select these arms, select these legs, uh, open up timeline, make a keyframe here, and make a keyframe here. I'm gonna turn on this automatic keyframing, so every time I make a change, it's recorded. Now, I'm gonna go in the top view, I'm gonna take this right arm, and at frame zero, uh, I want it to be up, so I'm gonna rotate it up. Uh, the other arm also, I will rotate it up and this leg will be something like this for the snow angel and something like this. Now in this number frame number 5, I'm gonna make this go somewhere here, rotate the arm here and the other one somewhere like this and legs will be just closed something like this. Now uh, if I play the animation, I can see that it's working but I have to make them go back, right? Uh, something like this. I'm gonna make it uh, a little bigger. Let's say 50 frames, not bigger but longer. So now you can see that the animation is working. And if you want it to be forever looping, you just have to change, select these layers here, go to after and select repeat. And if it's zero, it's gonna loop forever. Uh, if you play the animation in the timeline, you can see that it's going forever and it's uh, looping forever. You can change it to 3 or to 1, and if it's uh, 1, I think it's going to be just one time. Yeah, after 100, it's going to stop. Yeah, that's correct. So I'm going to just leave it at 0. So if I go in here in the redshift render view, maybe I want to add some redshift lights. And I will add this area light. I will move it up, up somewhere there minus 90 
uh, and you can see that it's over him and I, I found that it looks better if it's right over his head for this particular animation and I like to change it from rectangle to disc so the light is round and maybe I'll change it somewhere something smaller and yeah maybe I will add something a little more uh, to the roughness well yeah so it looks a little more like I think it looks like oil, maybe it doesn't, maybe dirty oil, something like that, yeah. And uh, yeah, this is it. You can play around with these settings and you will get different results. Uh, you can do all kinds of things. You can uh, add width segments, height segments, um, and uh, it will look different. Maybe I will make it 720 and 720, it's the same. So it's the same as uh, in the example before. So yeah, this is it. Uh, hope you liked it and see you in the next video. Bam!